It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans coming up next. Stadium in Houston. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, a former Blue Hen out of Delaware. It's Joe Flacco. Remember when the conversation was, is Joe Flacco elite? was lead enough to not only win a Super Bowl, but be named the MVP of that game. And for a time, one of the top paid quarterbacks in the league. Not bad for a young man who transferred to Delaware from Pitt while in college. This guy has had a great career, not many chances now to lead an offense, but still capable if put on the field. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Passing play, Flacco. He finds his man complete. It's four. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here in tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Third down. Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Got his man complete over the middle. It's good one. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Desmond King deep for Houston. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out, a two-year starter at Ohio State and second overall pick in the draft, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. From the 31, here's second and a couple. Singletary again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Stroud now to throw. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And they're real play action here with Stroud. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Stroud to throw it. Caught by Woods. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Another targeting catch for Robert Woods. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive, and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I bet we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. On second down, it's Stroud. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Chance are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight. 
on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. is good, and it's now 3-0 Texans. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think... There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how the defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up, let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Seven yards there and a first down. He was brought down by Derek Stingley. A gain of seven. And the Browns first down. First and ten here for Flacco. He finds his man complete. It's four. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and a yard. He's got Akins, the tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Okay, so the personal foul penalty... And those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. And the Browns are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Ford is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Hunt. Will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain it a little bit of an advantage. Foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Stroud now on first and 10. That'll be pulled in downfield by Collins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Play action. Here's Stroud. Open man is Noah Brown. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 40-yard line. Stroud looking to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On third down, they go with Singletary. And some room to run now. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and 10. 
Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Well, a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Stroud. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So a roughing the passer penalty there, C.D. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't think twice about pulling this flag on that one. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. Again, it's Drown. So as they talk it over, touchdown! Six yards away, and the Texans are able to move back in front. Extra point. Up and good, and the lead is now 10-7. to seven. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as... challenge him at all. I do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. And now out comes Houston. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I would not change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Flushed out right. He's got it to Collins complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Stroud. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And Woods has it complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing now is Stroud. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Here goes Stroud again. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in Let's half go number one. Stroud now on fourth down. And a find the open man. That's complete. Now the Texans 
Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Singletary in the final seconds of the first half. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Flacco's throw complete there to Moore. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On game of 22 yards, first down, Brown. Barring a flag, final play here for Flacco and company. Buying time to his left. Running one fly deep for Cooper. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. time over we are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon it's the Texans in front and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter from a yard or two deep here comes a return and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 the Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three this offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly taking it right down Broadway. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. They'll run on first down with Singletary. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. And Stroud now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They get the guard out of Georgia Tech, Shaq Mason. First and They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Stroud to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. I know sometimes we can get four more by Jim Bay catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. target and that's how he'll shred the defense. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well looking at it from a defensive perspective that keeps the deficit very very manageable and you know, all things considered not a bad job on the defensive side. Now, I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know happy in quotes of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. 
The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Throwing here on first down. Flacco. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Play action. Flacco. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Flacco. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Oh, he picks it, and the Texans are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Stroud sets up the play action. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Come on, come on. Here's Stroud. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Stroud on third down now. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be fourth hey, down. Hey, check that. Check that. Here we go. Singletary. They'll run for it. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. And this will be a Texans first down as we'll get this up to about the 42. That was fourth. Let's go, the we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No. I mean, you get in those situations fourth and three, fourth and four. That's, that's a lot. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Stroud looking to throw. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Garrett coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. Here's more on the return. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Here's Flacco. It's caught. Cooper. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Flacco off play action. And this is caught. He hits more. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. And the Browns first down. From the gun, Flacco eluding the pressure right. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27, here's second down and two. Bootleg, Flacco. Again, he finds Moore. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Flacco looks to throw. Completes it right side to Cooper. Touchdown, Browns! Amari Cooper.
touchdown grab. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa. to right around the 27. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure but backed off and it proved fruitful they get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described an interception. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Flacco toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Flacco to the goal line, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third and goal, Flacco. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen out of scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. On the sneak, here's Flacco. And this time, he breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. The sneak successful from the yard out. And the Browns have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and they will take a seven point lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So Stroud and the Texans down 27-20, just over two minutes to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Stroud to throw it. That's complete to Pierce. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Stroud's throw pulled in by Woods. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 
They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Here's third down at five. Here's Stroud. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 17-yard line. It's hurry-up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And he's brought down. Here's first and goal. Stroud able to shake and yes he's into the end zone so they get the late score they needed and now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute Defensively, it didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about coming out of college. You're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Cleveland offense making their way out. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Another try, second and ten now. Now Flacco. Completes to the Joku. And he'll be out right at the 35. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Flacco. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. They'll try again here, second and ten. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Flacco to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. And we've got three football. Four quarters done. So the Texans will have the first opportunity here in the overtime session as we are back underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Stroud off the play fake. Flush to his right. 
And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And space tough to come by there as they get maybe a yard to the 37. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. He's got it to Collins complete. Houston. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Many speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Kaimi Fairbear. And they will take it. Point lead now. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two play drive that time. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First OT toss coming for Joe Flacco. He finds his man complete. It's four. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Flacco. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Flacco from the gun. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play. A person to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First and goal. Now Flacco. And that's going to be caught for the Browns. Touchdown. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. But no matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns' territory. 86 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. He'll buy some time right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. 
stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. It's a blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Boy, what would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now Stroud. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. And we're going to get whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the extra session. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Texans are going to win the football game. Now, Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to EA